I'm Dr. Marcella Bonvalez, a woman's imager um, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I will be speaking about ectopic pregnancy. The incidence of ectopic pregnancy has been increasing even though mortality has been declining. 0.9 to 2.6 percent of all pregnancies are ectopic. 11.5 to about approximately 18 percent of maternal deaths are due to ectopic pregnancy. 15 percent ectopic pregnancies are patients who have had previous ectopic pregnancies. An ectopic pregnancy is an abnormal implantation and growth of products of conception outside of the endometrial cavity. The majority of ectopic pregnancies, approximately 98 percent, arise in the fallopian tube. And in the order of frequency, the ampulla, isthmus, fimbria, and interstitium. Other ectopic pregnancies include in abdominal, uterine, cervical, and less common in the ovary. And here's a diagram from Netter showing the different locations of an ectopic pregnancy. Um, fimbria of the fallopian tube, the ampulla, isthmus, and the interstitium, which is the portion of the fallopian tube that uh, goes inside of the uterus. Uh, also, ovarian ectopics are rare, and cervical ectopics uh, can be seen but are rare. The risk factors for ectopic pregnancies include a previous ectopic pregnancy, which increases your risk 10 times, pelvic adhesions due to pelvic inflammatory disease, endometriosis, or tubal surgeries will increase the risk of a, a pelvic, of a, a ectopic pregnancy by 30 to 40 percent. Infertility or assisted fertilization increases the risk of ectopic pregnancy in addition to intrauterine device. Think ectopic in all reproductive females since 50 percent of patients with ectopic pregnancy have no risk factors. Early diagnosis is crucial to initiate treatment before rupture, hemoperitoneum, and resultant hypovolemic shock.